Oh, hello. Welcome back to Building Lot Acres. Today, we're going to be talking about our new garden beds. Stay tuned. Not really. drive nice and slow. All the way back home. Alright, you ready? The reward for doing such a good job. I think we should have some of this dog and suds soda. What do you think? Yeah. Mm. Oh my. Oh my goodness. So good. It's really good. Mm. So we went to Tractor Supply and we picked up some fencing and fence posts as well as some staples to put down the mat on the bottom as where the containers that you just saw us get are going to go. And Dixie came with us. She got lots of compliments. But me and my mom cut four 30 foot strips of the, um, you know, mat that prevents the weeds from coming up. So we're going to put that like in a circle around, not circle, square, what am I saying? Around the area that we're going to do and staple it down. And then we're just going to put layer uh, pieces like in the middle and we're going to do the fencing. We have some stones and a loom being dropped off later. Um, so yeah, we're going to get a lot done today. We took a mental health day and uh, we're going to be doing this all day. So it's going to be great. Hi, Mom.
So we're just finishing up the weed mat. We got a 30 by 30 square all done. And the big truck is gonna be coming in a minute to deliver the inch and a half stone, which is gonna cover this in about a four to six inch layer. And we'll be well on our way. Stay tuned. Ollie, the magnificent mouse hunter. In that time. Don't that. <laughs> it's a tomato cage. What did it do to you? The poor tomato cage. Thought he wasn't going in. It's like.
So I planted a Mexican sunflower. One red pepper, two red pepper, chives, and then you can barely see it, but rosemary. Um, this one is sage. Uh, this one is parsley. So that's what I did. And then my dad has been working on evening this out because it's a lot. And he jumped this in this corner because we had some pileage over here and couldn't really get it over there. So he dumped that in that corner and he's scooping out some from some of the high spots and putting it in the low spots so that we can fill all the spots. And I've just kind of been, other than planting, helping him spread it out with the rakes and uh, yeah, nothing too crazy. It's been a pretty exciting day. We still have some plants. We have our squash, our cucumber, another cucumber, uh, uh, what's it called? Zucchini. Yeah, zucchini. zucchini. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, that's wild cherry tomatoes. And then the sun gold, I believe it's a tomato plant. I'm not 100% sure. Sugar gloss, probably tomatoes. And then we have celery. Um, I'm not sure exactly what that says, so I'm not sure. And then this is the uh, oregano. I don't know what that is, but it's there. And then over here, we have our lettuce. And we have our strawberry plants. So, pretty cool. We have our strawberry plants, we have our planting soil. So we got a load of stone in. There's about eight inches of stone in here. 24 inch deep tub. That's gonna leave me about 16 inches of loom, which should be plenty for even deep root vegetables. And you'll notice I took the drain plug out. So the plan is to put some landscape fabric over the stone and that will hopefully keep the loom from washing down and clogging the stone, not allowing it to drain. Cause the last thing I want is for this to turn into a big sopping bathtub, which is gonna drown the plants and it's not gonna work. So I need the water to be able to get out of this because it does have a bottom. Typically a raised bed wouldn't have a bottom so it could just drain down into the ground. But I wanna make sure this drains nice. So let's put on the landscape fabric and we'll put some lumen.
So we got both raised beds filled up. I did spill just a little bit on the stones. I'll have to pick that up, but I'm actually gonna wait to plant until Clara gets back home because I know she really likes planting and I think she would like to do that. So I'm gonna start working on the fence and I will see you guys in a little bit. Definitely getting there. We got the fence up, a temporary gate. The gate's four feet wide. That's just so I can get my cart and my wheelbarrow and whatever in there. I'm not gonna need to get the, the tractor in there. All the rough stuff's done. Everything else will be handwork, but we got stuff planted. Starting to come along. <laughs> 